Oh, is my screen showing? Yes. Okay, sorry. All right, uh, where are we at? You got anything? Um, don't think so. Molly had something, and I see Molly is on. Uh, Molly, you had something yesterday. I can probably dig it up in my email, or if you can refresh my memory, I can pull it up that way. Um, or what, before we get that, Um, well, yeah, is there anything else you want to? Nope. Nope. Okay, well then, uh, here we go. Creating a landing page. Mm, Molly, I think your email was a little bit more detailed than that. Let me see if I can find it. And of course I can't find it. Weren't you trying to do something specific, Molly? Okay, so creating a, a landing page that works with a print postcard that I can use for listing generation. I'm developing videos of beachfront condo. I'm not sure how those two tie together. Looking for something simple to feature on a postcard that will drive people to the website with the landing page. Uh-huh. Uh, -huh. uh a lot depends on what, what you're off what are they gonna get to once once they get the postcard. Uh, is that what you're looking for? You're trying to figure out what to offer on the postcard? Yeah, look, what I think she's looking for what to, what to have there and what to have on the landing page. And this is going to be sent to expireds or FISBOs? You have the offer? What's the offer then, Molly? That'll help. So all residents, let them know my expertise. Molly, if I can give you some tough love, that's not an offer. They don't care about your expertise. Yeah, what, you what's in use, it for them? Like uh, a good, a good, you know, now that I think about it, a good quick way to do that might be to use the, the thing I wrote last week and alter it to your you know, as much as you like for the uh, traffic, the eyeballs on your property. Um, and the landing page, you could have a quick video up top that says, hey, you know, here's some ideas if you're still trying to sell your property. You know, use the form below at the bottom to get in touch. Here we go. You here's your offer, Molly. Okay, this is good. I'm, I'm glad that wasn't just the case. We have a Hollywood producer creating lifestyle videos that will feature their units and the benef benefits of living in Naples. So, oh. okay. so your offer is... To feature their property. Yes. You know, think, think a video like this might help you sell your property. And if you have, if you have information about um, if you have any statistics on other properties that you did these videos, um, and I think, and she also then said, we sell lifestyle as well as property. That's huge. Selling the lifestyle uh, is what will get you results. How do we turn that into the offer? So are you looking to blast this to expired and for sale by owners or to to um, mail this to like entire condo plexes? What are you thinking? How are you thinking you're going to looking to farm buildings? Okay. Now it's now it's starting to somewhat work together. So she's gonna use it to farm buildings. The offer is these high quality lifestyle featuring videos 
Okay, so offer is we'll video your property like this, right? Right. Because so when they land on the page, they'd see visitors would see an example, another video that's been done. Because you're already doing those videos, right, but Molly? I you'll think have so. We're in the process anyway. Right, but you'll have one to put on the page before too long. Correct. Yes. She likes so, CanWeVideoYourProperty.com. Okay. Now, uh, my thought. Okay, it's a devil's advocate. If 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 I'm in that building, and I'm not thinking about selling, do I care? So doing that, the exit might need to be uh, like general buy, or buyer stuff or, or uh, keep, keep abreast of, of, of the market activity in your building and surrounding buildings or something like that. How about be notified when we video one of your neighbor's properties? Ah, there you go. That could be kind of cool. Voyeurism. Everybody wants to see that. She'll have five by next week. Cool. So the offer, so so the, let's break this down. The awesome sauce, right, equals a high quality video, marketing video of a property, right? Am I getting that right? Yes. Okay, it might be phrased a little differently. The capture trap Could be a landing page where the offer is bidders are seeing an example of what's been done. They opt in to learn more about how to get their video. That's the first capture of get their property video, right? However you would spell that. And then the exit pop to cover all grounds would be just be notified when we video one of your neighbor's properties. Or it could be right in the sidebar say, no thanks, but I'd love to see, you know, it could be a check mark. No thanks, but but sure, send me other videos you do. Yeah. Um, or a no thanks, but send me other bids. Um, so let's make this a little more visual here. Let's just... Okay. Now you can translate this all into a fan page too, which might work well. Mm. If if you, the video is really good, you might put all this as well as on a land, regular landing page in a fan page. So might also consider a fan page, and then driving traffic to this, right? What do you think, Josh? Send a postcard with a picture of one of the videos and can we video your property.com or whatever catchy mm -hmm. domain name you come up with? Mm -hmm. So send post option one, send postcards with catchy URL. You can use pearls too if you want, the pearl the pearl functionality. Can we video your property.com? Something like that. It, um, you can also use Facebook ads if doing the fan page, right? If, if it's going to be more broad, watch videos of these awesome properties in this area. You should be able to get pretty good traffic if you just want to build a list of people interested in the videos in general. Josh. Yeah, sorry, I'm looking at another question. Say that again. Would you use, do you think you can get this kind of Facebook traffic? You know, general geographic traffic who wants to see videos of local, really interesting local properties. Uh, I think, I think that would be possible. Yeah, for sure. And, and if you send it to a fan page. Yeah, I would probably use a different list for that because you know that those leads are probably going to be a little colder. You know, a different get response. Yeah, a different kind of, um. But the short answer is yes. I think that could be made to work. Those are, those are longer term leads. The fan page will gain traffic as you post videos to the wall if they're really good. Yeah. 
whether or not they're looking to buy or sell, if they're really good, people will just like them. I mean, they'll just, they'll find it interesting, they'll like, they'll share. And then incubation is dead simple. Send the latest video with a call to action. Want a video like this for your property, right? So it's the same call to and action. And if you keep it, you know, I don't recommend doing this, but if you had, if the list ended up being a mix of buyers, the call to action could be, if you want us to do a video like this of your home here, you know, go here. If if you want, you know, if you want a private showing of this home, do this. We should do them all like this. These bullet points. This is fun. <laughs> Yeah. Just do the well, I, the you know, th this is, this is different than the norm, which is awesome. That's what gets us jazzed up. They're thinking, mm -hmm. they're thinking a little differently and that's awesome. All right. So it all starts with this first high quality video. Once you do that, it all flows from there through the different, all four phases. That's a good hook though. Yeah. I mean, we, we know that's a good hook because people, it, it's proven over and over again. People love pictures. Yeah. Right. On the on you know as they browse the MLS, video is just that much further along. Um, but you can't have crappy pictures; you need good ones. So a good video will do the trick. Yeah, and she said uh, videos are also good thank you gifts for buyers, which is a good point. Oh yeah. Because it's it's almost like if you had one of that and you give that to them as a thank you, it's it's almost like you know the video of your wedding or something like you know it's. That's a little bit extreme, but it's that's really cool. Really cool. How how are you getting them done? How's she getting them done? Professionally? Professional, yeah. Well, I'm just curious, like what's that cost? What I'm sure other people are probably wondering, what are you gonna end up spending for that kind of I imagine you could find college kids who are doing some kind of video degree, right? Yep. A student of mine from Milton Academy is doing them for me. There you go. Cool. Right. So the That's price, smart. and they're going to, they get to build their portfolio and the price for you shouldn't be crazy. Yeah. And Molly, you, at one point you said in here, I'm sorry, there's a lot of things in here now. Um, what kind of international exposure? Like, what are you doing internationally? You mark, you said you market to 60 countries. I'm sure everybody in here is curious, like how and in what manner. Uh, so she's just, she's basically doing international guerrilla marketing Gloza I or something like that I'm not sure what that is LinkedIn CIPS through NAR local agent contacts I developed in in other countries so you I, I think I get an idea there Gloza is a great, great so when you're ready to create the page maybe we can do that on one of these sessions Josh yeah craft the page live uh, next week or whenever you have the first video. Yeah. And Gloza or Glozal is a social website for anybody international. Interesting. Glozal. Pretty cool. A global real estate, global real estate website, maybe? A social real estate network. Pretty neat. Yeah, I never heard of it. Good share. Good, 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 good. All right. Let's see what else we got. Uh, let's see. Kathy. Kathy says, this sounds like a bug for you, Ryan. Occasionally I have landing yeah. pages stop working correctly. Yesterday I had one and today another. What happens is the lead fills out the form but is not taken to the list I have set. All they receive is, thank you, we will be in touch soon. What I receive is an email without their contact info. So if they fill out the form, they get nothing and I get nothing. Any clues as to how this happens? Uh, before Ryan answered that, Kathy, are you, are you still using just the native forms? 
If so, I would really encourage you to, to get get response or something like that, especially because you're you're up to a couple of hundred leads. It's got to be getting a little bit difficult to, to track all that, I would think, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, it's probably something happened with the copy and paste and maybe switching back and forth from the visual editor. So if I had the unique URLs, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's probably the email notification field is kind of messed up somehow. If so you, Kathy, if you can drop the URLs, we can, yeah. we can check. I can that. fix them right here as soon as we get off. But... Uh, Ryan, I'm dropping yeah, that, you. The third-party form is going to really, really be a lifesaver. Yeah, that will help a lot. I'm recording those fresh today like I did for the Awesome Sauce. That's what I planned for this afternoon. You know, how to, how to create the forms and all that stuff. Kind of a fresh, updated version. Uh, Ryan, I just okay. chatted you a, a, a link from Jeffrey. Okay. Well, what is that? I have no idea how that happened. Here we go. Real estate transactions are not. Is this Jeffrey Lee? Yeah. Well, this looks a lot better than the bright green. Yes. <laughs> now, Jeffrey, you said, oh, did I delete it? Um, I think he said that he couldn't find the opt-in form. It's right there. Well, I'm confused. Looks like he made his own. No? I don't or know. Maybe not. It looks all good, though. It looks good. Um, the see how we will help you. See, I know that this is a pretty general offer here in the video, intentionally, right? Yeah. So um, you're kind of going to, instead of how we will help, it might be like, see, like five scandalous ideas that no other agents in this area, you know, would dream of using to market your property. You know, something to pique curiosity uh, instead of how it's just you will help them. Um, uh, Jeff, you know, we have a, a slight typo, hustle instead of hassle. And Jeffrey, you put templated. I have no idea what that what you mean there. So it would start, Jeffrey, do you have a listing presentation? I might have seen it at one point. Or use expand upon ours, you know. If, if you can if you can build your listing presentation anybody out there you know use your listing presentation I know a lot of folks have really good ones um, and if you can get that online or in PDF format there's probably some good nuggets in there that you can tease on the front end you know and, and focus on stuff that you know that you don't want the public to know about that's like private or secret or next level um, insider information VIP information anytime you can Use those kind like of things. Like Facebook advertising. You know, nobody does that for a listing, it seems. Maybe I still have, don't see people doing that. Maybe it's just local because I'm local and I don't see it. You know, maybe in this area they're not. But you know, see the Facebook advertising technique that for some strange reason no other agents are using, you know, or nobody else is using to sell a property. Yeah. You know, and, and give a few of those bullet points. It'll help you, it'll help these pages convert. Yeah. He says the form is the native one, but don't know where opt-in gone. I still don't know what you mean, Jeffrey. So the opt-ins aren't coming in? <laughs> so ideally you would redirect here. You know, you need that thank you page set up. I recorded a lot of stuff yesterday where you deliver some kind of content, a video or something. Hey, let's just uh Log in. I'll take a look at your form real quick. Maybe it'll help Kathy's question too while I'm in. Kathy, I think it sounded like Kathy figured it out. Um, okay, right. I don't get the notification. Okay, so that's an easy fix. We can fix that. Um, Shannon says, I actually use get top 12 secrets on how to sell your home on your own. Seems that the word secret is very powerful for a response. Uh, absolutely. Another little trick to get even a little bit better, uh, potentially, is if you put secrets in quotation marks in the headline. Um, might get you even a little bit more bump. Yeah, the opt-in form, the, I should strip the visual editor out of the opt-in form, but I'm afraid it would hurt some other people's uh, 
site. They, what's happening is if you switch from visual to HTML in the opt-in form, it's uh, as you switch back and forth. See this and GT stuff here. Your best bet, everybody, just on each form, if you're using the default, just hand code where it says destination email. Just put the value in that you want there. You know, the value your being your email address. Yeah. Jeffrey, I, I don't have your email address right on hand. I'm just going to save it and it says put email address so you can find it. Uh, Josh, we don't have a lot more. I mean, we could. I think what we would need in order to make this page really work is to see what you're going to offer on the other side. Yeah. Ryan, I'm sending you his email. I just chatted it to you. Josh, you know what would be great? Uh, I don't want to get us into trouble. Maybe, well, it's just a suggestion, but maybe Josh and I can record this canned um, so that everybody can use it. We should do a webinar, like a recording, where we talk about 10 really progressive ways to, to, to market a property. Um, yeah, sure. Um, and, and that would be a cool thing. You know, even just watch this recorded webinar, or if people are using automated webinar software, maybe they could use that. That'd be an instance where I would I would say allowing it on demand would be fine. Yeah. Because it so, it wouldn't be overly long. And it's still a passive call to action. You're not asking someone to get their their wallet out. You know, yep, the call so, to action at the end of it wouldn't be very threatening to them. Maybe uh, Shannon, you game, if he's there, maybe maybe we'll do one with him for his market just to try it out because I know he's going crazy with this stuff. Um, so. Crazy in a good way. You're, you mean he's taking yeah, go, yeah, action. in a good yes. way. I know he's I know he's doing a lot of pro he's getting a lot of traffic to seller focused pages. So yeah, maybe we could we could try doing that kind of offer with you or me as the moderator, but him being the local guy. Oh yeah, you know just and we'll just talk about some ideas and the call to action would be to talk to Shannon. Molly says, Jeffrey's page is great. How do you market that in Craigslist or Facebook? Let me talk about Facebook first. I don't know that there's a good way to use that offer on Facebook. We've tried. We've kind of, we've played with it. I, I would say we haven't done extensive work with it. The problem is you can't target sellers on Facebook. You can't even target, you don't even know when you're doing it that they're even thinking about real estate, let alone buying or selling. So that's a little tricky. I think the Facebook, uh, I think you could create a Facebook campaign that would work for what we talked about earlier, Molly, for what you're doing, because of the fact that it's video, people love video, it's real estate, people love, you know, it's video, it, it's, it's not a specific offer, like this is a specific offer that you want to, you only want to target sellers. Well, you know, if you've got 50,000 people locally on Facebook, how many of those people are trying to sell their house? 50, 500? Even if it's 500, that's a really, it's just really hard to narrow that down. Anyway, the way to do it with Craigslist would be, that offer would be the bottom of the Craigslist ad sandwich, which is outlined in the action map called Property Buzzer in Craigslist or something like that. Yeah, and the, and the ad might look like this. Let's just have some fun. We've got some, ad, I think we have ads for this seller type stuff, but I think a cool ad for this would, we should just not even talk about ads that aren't videos anymore because they just get clicked, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so here, and then maybe a little arrow. If you watch this video, you might sell your property, something like that. Or watch this video to learn how you can get 12 top secret ways of getting your property sold or something. The audio is really bad here in Madrid. Well, Jesse, I just want to, I just want to say that that's awesome that you're on from Madrid. I, that's the first thing I want to say. Uh, the second thing I want to say is, unfortunately, I'm guessing that's a go-to webinar issue because I don't think we're having any problems anywhere else. 
But man, that's awesome that you're on in Madrid. We are recording it, and the audio on the recordings, except for the one that didn't work the other day, the audio on the recording typically comes out just fine. So I know that's not a perfect answer, but again, I think it's awesome that you're on in Madrid. Where is a good place to target sellers if not Craigslist or Facebook? Well, Craigslist is a great way to target sellers if you use something like our FISBO Crusher process to target the for sale by owners. Uh, but really, the best other ways are are expired and for you know expired and for sale by owner. I mean, those those are how you know someone is looking to sell. There are farming strategies and so forth, like what Molly talked about, picking a neighborhood or in her case a, a condo building or something like that, and and um, doing a long term campaign so that you can dominate that neighborhood or that building. But the the most surefire way is look at the people that are already have already raised their hand and said, I'm trying to sell and go after those people. And there are some there are some lead gen services that provide motivated seller leads. That is a bit of a different ball game. Um I've had some I've had some success. I mean, at one point I listed from those leads, I listed like 20 homes in 35 days. Um, something like that from those kind of leads. But a bunch of them, the, 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 the number that we actually ended up selling was not as high as I would like, which could be could have been my fault, could have been any number of reasons. But I would say if you're, if you're picking some, pick, pick FISBOs and expireds that are properties that you either specialize in or you know you can get them sold because either the for sale by owner doesn't know what they're doing, which most of them don't, or the expired listing, the original agent didn't know what they were doing. Donna says, the audio is all good in the ATL. Good, good. Yeah, Jesse, I'm sorry. I... I'm guessing because you're international and go to webinar being US based, it may be the pro the cause, but um Is he gonna do you should do one of those I speak Spanish uh <laughs> squeeze pages. Yeah we talked about yesterday. Just kidding. Hey uh Jeffrey asked any plans to make more audio with Josh speaking and other templates. I'm not opposed to that. What's everybody think? I'm not I opposed to that. Here's what I do know, and I don't know if it's the, the video the audio or the offer, the best deals squeeze page for which I did that audio sort of video sales letter, in my in our experience, is not converting. I think better for our niche, even if you, you know, aren't the best public speaker or or whatever, the live action video because of the nature of our business, I think is best. Or or a screencast, and if you can use Screencast-O-Matic and have your talking head in the bottom right corner, I think that's gonna be much better. But again, I'm, I'm okay with doing more of them. I'm not opposed to doing more of them. Um, I just weird. feel Josh, like you're we... going to get better results doing your own. <clears throat> We kind of know that video sales letters work for general internet marketing, like selling actual products. It's just, I, we haven't seen too many people do it for real estate, right? Yes. Yeah, so that would be kind of, kind of, there is a formula for it. I think we gave the link to that one day, didn't we? Wait, so, I'm sorry, say what again? Oh, that, yes, that, yes, that, yes. The 12 step process for a video sales letter, yes. Yeah. So it's like, um, grab their attention, present the problem, agitate the problem, Offer the solution. Uh, well, maybe we could just get the link. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would probably be. You know what? I also, um, I have what that in that? a doc. I, I took it and I broke it down to. Uh, I. Yeah. No, that one's not it. There's one where the guy actually gives the. This is it. Yes, that's it. Hey, 
I've seen those before. We're we're tangenting here a little, but I think everybody will like this, so we'll try to get this in the members area too. There's the link, Josh. Um, if you have any, if you have any that you think a Josh recorded voice, you know, the radio voice Billy Mays guy would come in handy because I think it's a good idea. Um, if you have any like situations where you think it'd be really good, let us know, and we we might be able to write a script for it. I just chatted that link to everybody. Um... Here's that new ad for the property for Craigslist. If you watch this video, you might sell your property. Oops, I wrote 12 secret marketing tips, but we don't have... <laughs> I might have to replace that. Um, Don says expires have to be consistent and be different. Uh, exactly. And I know, Don, you're using Kinder Reese, but the different thing is also why we laid out the, the expired action map in the members area, because that guarantee that is different than what anybody is doing. Guaranteed. Unless you got a fellow reticulist in your market. And even in that case, it'd be darn near impossible that you were both targeting the exact same expired. Uh, great idea with expired. Use the lousy photos that the first agent used as an example of what not to do. Cool. Ab absolutely. Absolutely. And make some friends. And make so Molly, for way. you, uh, which do, do you think a video like this one might help get your property sold a little bit better than the lousy pictures your first agent had up online? That I that would uh, that would do well. Do you use a program Another... or software like Craigslist Auto Replier? Any thoughts? When we first launched Fizbo Crusher, it had an auto reply function. Here's what we yeah. found personally, and I think what you'll find with any of the other services. They are um, unreliable at best. What you're doing technically is spam. And so any of those software programs, things like that, once they have a lot of users, it becomes more and more difficult for it to actually work. Better, in my opinion, is every day, either using the Fizbo Crusher report or manually go to Craigslist, pick only the ones that you, be, be selective. Pick the ones, the listings, the FISBOs that you would want. What are you doing? I'm buying it. No, I'm just I'm messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is going on here? We don't know. We don't know how it works. Um, I'm just messing with you. So better is be selective. Choose the ones that you would want. And, and do the manual work because one, you'll guarantee that they get through. And two, if you follow a process like we outlined, like Shannon's doing, you're going to get better response. So, so the idea with the Craigslist auto replier is, you know, you can, you can hit all these different sellers. And I, I've played with this stuff. What happens is the ones that reply are the ones you didn't want to list anyway. So target the ones that you really want and do a full thought out campaign for their business. It's my two cents. So this guy's, I'm just bringing one up as an example. This guy's probably an investor trying to drop this property, right? Probably. Who knows? You know, probably. He's trying to flip, you know, just quick email. Hey man, I created a URL for your property. He's probably in the game. He's an investor. He might think it's fun and interesting and reach out to you if you send him a pearl. Just send a direct, send a link to your uh, your page that you built for his property. Yeah. Shannon said, it's official. Josh and Ryan are big time and global now. Woohoo. <laughs> Thanks, Shannon. Uh, it got better and faded again. I'll work through it, guys. Yeah, sorry, Jesse. I, the recording should be good. Yep. Another question. Do you use Optimize Press, which is a WordPress theme? We do, and we love it. Um... It's, just built this last week. Yeah. Right? 
Now, you can do something similar to this with our squeeze generator, but this just has some additional functionality for our internet marketing business. I would never use this for my real estate business. Or I'd, maybe I would. I don't think I would. I don't, I don't, maybe at some point I would, but... Well, it, it, it can, it's a little work. I mean, they make it sound very easy, but it is, it, it's not the easiest thing if, in the world. If Ryan know. didn't, I can make the pages now, but if Ryan didn't do the stuff behind the scenes so that I could do that, I'd have bought it and then returned it and said, blah, I don't know what to do here. Yeah. Um, but it is, it's very good. If you, if you can get through the learning curve and, and figure it out, it is a very good product. So. Anybody else in Grand Rapids, Michigan? <laughs> Don asked. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know of anybody else, but that doesn't mean that there aren't. Have any ideas regarding working the European market? I know the visa thing for investors is a good catch. Any suggestion regarding videos and traps would appreciate input. I'll be in several countries over the next 20 days. My email is... Um, well, I don't know the European market. I have no idea other than... House Hunters International, which I do catch on occasion. Um, so, but I, you know, what we teach and what we talk about over and over and over are general marketing principles made specific for real estate. So Direct the principles, for real estate. what's that? Direct response marketing for real estate. We should be calling that. I mean, you can, yeah. Yeah, so, um, So the principles will work. You're just going to have to f figure out what offers resonate and work in the European market or in or, or whatever market you're in. Um, you know, I, we're not in Europe. I don't know the European real estate market, so I couldn't I wouldn't be able to say try this, it would work. But using video and using the direct response concepts that we talk about. And if you stay at it, you're gonna you're gonna figure out something that works. There's no question. Josh, are who, are we still talking to the guy in Madrid? Yes. I wonder. I would just be curious to know: are are you guys further ahead than we are with all this tech stuff, or are you are you a few years behind? Do you have some kind of competitive advantage? Is there just nobody in your market doing this stuff yet? Um. Yeah. I don't know. And it should work anywhere you go. So if you have a site that's sort of like Craigslist where people go to look at houses, but you can't maybe embed HTML or stuff, we do have other ways to go about it on those sites. So I, I think it would be interesting if you have things you, you're thinking about advertising on, we'll take a look at them if we can read them. Yep. Cater Arena asks, what would be a good call to action for long-term tenants in the left corner? I deal with apartment leases. Can you please add some sauce for oh. rentals? That's awesome. Um, yeah, I yeah. think she's meaning, I'm guessing she's meaning like for the opt-in. Yeah, I I mean, I think you can make a really good case. And there's a lot of people in, we, I know, and you know, Josh, who just think they'll never buy a house again. <laughs> Right. What? Why on earth would you want to own a home? You know, take the conventional thinking and flip it on its head, and create a free report around you know ten reasons why owning a home is a scam or something. You know, whatever is is. What would be, uh, how do you express a paradigm thinking, you know? You know, something. So I guess the request is build a squeeze page for this, right? Well, don't, don't we have? We have, a, we have like a, a tenant page, you know, rent a house. Yeah. Um, and that one could work pretty good. 
Yeah, like the, the one where it's raining in there. So is it time for a new long-term rental? Or is it time for a new rental property? Yeah, I, yeah, I just like to don't buy a house angle. Because it'll be, for a lot of people who just went through foreclosure over the last few years, it's really going to resonate. You can tap into some pain there and, and make a good case for not ever owning a home. Nine reasons why the American dream is a scam, Don. That's good stuff. Yep. That is good stuff. And we got to be honest. I know we're all, you know, in real estate here, but there's there's a lot of cases where you might be better off to advise somebody not to buy and maybe have that as part of your arsenal. You know, get, be well-versed in it and see if you can make money on fee listings, right, on rental listings. Um, can you... Scott says he dropped some links to Craigslist ads in a support request a couple of days ago, and maybe we just missed it. Um, he's asking if we could bring them up and, and check them out. Yeah, I saw a bunch. Uh, I meant to respond. Sorry. Did it come? It might have came by email to me, which is probably why I didn't get back to you. Let me see. We won't review Ryan's email cleanup. Uh, but th it is reviewed in another one of these sessions, and it still makes me cringe. Sorry, Scott. Yeah, it is in there. I just didn't respond. My response, I mean, my blunt response was going to be, let's just stick with one ad and get it working, you know, because you got there was a lot to look at. I've got ADD. So is so he at making a bunch quick. of different offers? Is that what you mean? Yeah, or? yeah, he's making a bunch of different offers across a bunch of different ads, and it's hard to gauge. You know, he's not getting response on them, but... But they're for each for each one. If it's tinkered with, it'll probably we can probably get it working. Yeah, so that's I mean one of the biggest things that we try to emphasize with the four step process is get one working first before you try to do something else. Um, so that one's not working, but, Scott. I've, yeah, this this has worked almost anywhere we've gone with it. Um, this particular one. Is it not getting clicks? How many clicks has it gotten? All your ads are good. They do what they're supposed to. Um, in some cases, I'm surprised that they're not. I just wonder how many clicks we're getting to each ad before we're giving up on them. You there, Josh? Yeah. Okay. So this one, for example, you're doing a good job of getting people to the page. Um, it might be good to feature, sort of like Kathy's doing, you know, like feature the property or have a video that teases. Um, even if it's example. one that's not even available, you know, ideally you'd update it frequently, but honestly, if it's, even if it ends up selling or going off market or whatever, just having one that's good and has you in it and shows them an example. Yeah. Like a screencast of you saying, here's one that it's too bad. This just went off the market, but here were the numbers on it. It was really cool. That's okay. We've got a list of like five others just like this, and you can talk about what the rents were. You know, I think Shannon's people. having good success with that similar process as well. Yeah, Shannon, if you have a link, that'd be great um, to, to one of your things. Where does he see how many clicks it's gotten, Ryan? I, I know where, but could you show everybody? Oh, yeah, within the page, yeah. Okay, so... You can see clicks two ways. You can use trackable links in your Craigslist ads, right? Um, or go to Stat Press right here. Down in your bottom left, Stat Press should be installed, or there's instructions on how to activate it. Um, you're getting good traffic, so let's see. Now wait, go back up. Go back up. This is for across all pages. All of his pages, yeah. But that that's not, I would say that's not good traffic. Uh, 23 clicks this month. Because I, I don't know that I'd agree that he's getting good traffic. Because he's posting a lot. Isn't that 230? 
Oh, Target this month. Well, it, today it's yesterday. Today he had eight clicks yesterday. From how many ads was that? Oh, Scott, yeah. how many? How how much? What did you do to get eight clicks yesterday? He's getting. Here's um, here's I why can... I say I don't think that's a lot. I posted one ad. When I did that action map, I posted one ad and got like 33 clicks from one ad in one day. Um, so I'm it trying to figure like right out what's missing. Right after he posts, he's getting a handful of clicks for each ad. Like there's two here for this one, two for this one, one for that one, 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 one. Yeah, they're each getting like one click. Uh, what time What time is? are these going live? What time of the day are you doing them? I know the clock's a little skewed on this by default. The, the time might might be like five hours off. Uh, Shannon, a link to a squeeze page you're using for your like uh, smoking hot deals was what we had asked for. Uh, four ads for Best Buys, one ad for income. Was that yesterday, or is that so far this month, which would be in the, the three days? What's today? Third or fourth? Third. Today's only the third, okay. You got eight clicks yesterday. We those eight clicks should have been at least one lead. All right, so we gotta we gotta work on what they're getting to. Um, but Josh is right too. We could probably get more traffic. Yeah, when are you when are you posting them? I post every ad every two days. Right. What time of day? Trying to post around 11. Mm -hmm. I wonder if she would mind. Is Kathy there? Can I take a look at her dashboard a similar way? We've never done this before. I never thought to do it. I'm not sure if Kathy's on. Kathy is on. She said go for it. Okay, thanks. Uh, Jeffrey, that is targeting renters only. Sorry, that was back to Katarina's thing. Yeah, she's trying to target long-term renters. So this is 36 views yesterday that Kathy had. Um, and um, I noticed this one ad got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven clicks. This might have been today. It's gotten seven clicks, but... That's better than two. And I don't know if Eugene's going to be much bigger than Chattanooga, right? And that's seven clicks in the last hour. Right. right? So the time I know. Switched. Yeah, I know what the big difference is. <laughs> yep. It's it, The video just works, guys. I don't know why, you know, I guess we should include that in the sandwich. It's just, it's just proving itself. And how many, I bet there's a handful of leads. Let's see what's on the other side. Yeah, I guess I didn't, I didn't include that in there because I didn't use it in that particular example. But yeah, yeah. I should have. So Kathy, this video, she's probably talking about, she probably gives some reasons why you should opt in, you know, to search the foreclosure list. And she's, she's basically, you click the video, you get it, and then she's guiding them through to the next thing. So this is the ad that she didn't, you know, she did all that hard work on and then our system failed her and didn't send her to lead. <laughs> I think she said she found it. It went to a different email or something. I think she did. Oh, okay. I think, but or either that or she figured it out or both. Well, Kathy, in your case, I'll build the get response. If it's just a learning curve, well, you know, if you want to, I can spend a half hour today. We can get you going with get response if that'll help. But um, Mike says, do you use three hundred and sixty panorama? I don't know what you mean. I, those videos, most of those videos are just shot with simple handheld cameras and many times just uh even a camera or a, a, a phone video pretty cool it looks like an app if that's the app he's talking about uh -huh. looks pretty neat like you, is this a video or is it a uh does it create a video or just like a uh, photo yeah, i don't know it looks like pictures not or maybe it turns it into a video well, maybe not. Uh, who knows?
It's a picture, but it's a pretty cool picture. Uh, I can see offering that in some cases if you have a view or something as a lead capture thing, right? Yeah. Well, hey, Don, can you try, when you're doing your support request, using a different email? Because we're responding and they must be getting blocked. So if you could try when you submit using a different email address. Um, to Comcast? I've only ever had the problem with Comcast. Don't know why. Um, Eric's saying we're responding. Don says he doesn't get responses. I, I know I've responded also. So, uh, Do you think it would be simpler if you guys create a standardized form framework in the dashboard, dashboard so that we can use it in all systems in the member area? I'm not sure I follow what you mean, Jeffrey, but really, it, all of you guys who are on the call with us, you guys are serious about your business. You you have you should be using GetResponse. Or something, or AWeber. I mean, we put this in there because we want it. Maybe we should take them out to make you guys use it, but it's you so guys you are serious. It it's so much easier. Um. The big reason is it feeds your incubation. Like you can, you can then take an email to your whole database. We're not trying to, and we can't manage email. We can't manage email reliably, because if if we, you know what I mean. If we were taking them all, and creating a database for you, and you tried to email people, no matter what we tried, we wouldn't be as good as the big providers. Um. I mean, there's. I can put plugins in, Josh. You know, it's just it's just discouraging what if by doing that, you know. Yeah, I. Yeah. Uh, using Fizbo. Uh, so in, in LA, we get a huge list daily using the Fizbo Crusher. So we highlight all of the URLs and put them in URL opener, which opens them all, so I can cherry pick them and sort out the ones that are actually listed by agents. Interesting. Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, Fizbo Crusher is set up to only pull the ones that are marked real estate by owner, but agents either knowingly or unknowingly still post listings under by owner. So it's never, there's, you know, nothing's ever 100% foolproof. Uh, this was going to the international question. Just FYI, if you go to Facebook, you'll find a lot of international realtor pages where you can post a comment. Good stuff. Here's a link to a UK Facebook one. I'll drop that. Estate agents. Yeah. Beth says, I'm still not sure how to add HTML or switch, switch to visual editor in the platinum pop-up when I'm writing the pop-up text. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we, and we, Beth is still on. Some, okay, good. Yeah, we did something on support about this. Let me let me take a quick look live so I can show you. Um, I'll just go to where I know I'm using it myself. So. And Don said also the reverse is true. Some owners post as broker. Yes. I think Molly said, because it works. I'm not sure if that was to that or something else. Uh, Don, we can't we can't change your email address on the existing support tickets. You, we just have, just try using a different one moving forward and you may have to resubmit what you're waiting on answers for. I wish there was a better way or actually uh, maybe can, wait, can Eric forward it to that? Can, uh, if Eric's on, is he on? Can he try to go and change the email address associated to his uh, tender account? It might work. Uh, Don, can you drop that again? Sorry. Or, 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 or Don, send that to Eric. Email that to Eric or put that in a support request. And uh, Eric will get it. Eric's not on and I accidentally deleted that email. Oh, there it is. There it is. Beth? Uh, and see, Beth, Beth, do you see this? Is this what you're asking? So if you were in HTML and you dropped a, a, an image and then wanted to switch to visible, visual to add text, you do that, you switch to visual, then you'd have to put the cursor in. Yep. 
and then you can you can add text if you want. Uh, if she's saying she can't just start using the cursor, that seems like it's working. But if you ever have that problem, you can just go in and put like a letter into the HTML version and switch back to visual, and then you'll be able to edit there. Is this headline worth a flip? Selling your house? Question mark. Always good to have a question mark. Uh, well, ask a question, not not just randomly putting a question mark. Uh, your buyers use sophisticated methods to search. Is your marketing keeping pace? Um, I, I would do something more like, what are you doing to reach sophisticated tech savvy buyers? Using tools like Zillow, Truly, et cetera. Yeah. You know, something like that. But I think it's it's going down a good path, Wayne. Just maybe yeah. tweaking the second, yeah. you know, selling your house question mark. Are you getting exposure to all the new tech savvy buyers using methods like the ones below or something like that? Um in my head, I'm planning when we do the, for the fourth phase, when we do the lead capture stuff today and tomorrow as I add it, I wanted to make some stock headline templates. We actually have access to a bunch, right, Josh? Yeah. Like, like words like discover, who else wants, stuff like that. Um, there's also, remember, we have the retegas.com slash copywriting. There's a really a lot of good content in here, a, a, a whole lot of really good content in here. There's too much to go through, but... Yeah. Um, about writing headlines and things like that and how to how to sell with words online so uh, what application is Ryan using for word processing that's pages on a Mac yeah Shannon hey man with CL ad tracker how do we use that with your system my understanding is you can only use it for links only how do we Work it to use one of our squeeze pages in CL Ad Tracker. We'll have to do, unless Ryan knows the answer, we might have to do some digging on that. We're not using it. We th we found it, thought it was cool, and shared it, but we're not using it. Doesn't it work with any link, or does it only work with... I think what he's saying is it only works if you put you the just... actual link. And Shannon, thanks oh, for sending those point? links, but um, those are the links from your dashboard. If you could send maybe one or two of them, that's the actual public Craigslist link. I can't see those. Um, yeah, it's just hyperlinks or pictures. So then I'm confused. I would use, if you can't, this should get as much click. We have that moving red arrow that goes side to side. Um, that seems to, it seems to work. If you, if you can't use an image, try using the moving red arrow and the address that should be in our thing, but it's retegas.info slash Mr. GIF. I don't know why. If you put that and then have the text link, um, or use a, the moving down arrow too, and then have the text link, it should be just, it should convert as well as any banner ad, right, Josh? Yeah. Pretty close. Uh, do you use Postano, Instagram, or Quickie? Mike, you asked some of the best questions. <laughs> I've never heard of any of those. <laughs> yeah, Instagram's a photo sharing. I never used it. Postano. Never heard of that either. Pod. Never used it. I don't know. I'm not even sure what it is yet. But Postano. Add content to your Postano. You know, so I posted something to the fan page content? yesterday, and one of the things people want is like a, basically an action map for how to, you know, what they should do with social media. 
And the nice thing about what we'll do next week, that whole back on market price reduction thing, is we'll be able to lay out like what to do. The four steps, but also that will be perfect for outlining. Here's a simple social media strategy. Yeah, but Josh, isn't it all revolve around actually creating content? That, yeah, it does not matter what tool, what, um, you know, I, I got an email yesterday, she's not on, from uh, a member who said, you know, I appreciate you guys set up my fan page, but I have one like and it's Mike. And my question back was, well, you know, what are you doing to get people to the page? And I think, unfortunately, sometimes we think just because something's created and, and I don't, I'm not saying that this is even anyone's fault, but just having something, just having an awesome real estate website, just having a Facebook uh, page with a, with a uh, default tab, just having a squeeze page, just having those things, um, they don't, you know, it's, it's like they don't exist unless you do something to get people to them. Um, social media is worthless unless you're creating content or at least finding content that's interesting and you can pull people in and and, and get them interested and engaged. So that it'll cut it's I'm seeing it more as incubation and traffic generation too, but you got to have the content to post to get people coming back to you. Yeah, so like what I'm thinking with the back on market and the price reduction is I create an update, it becomes a blog post, it's a, it's, it gets loaded up to the YouTube channel, it's shared on Facebook, it's tweeted, um, and it's emailed. And I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna automate any of that process, but even without automating it, those five things, after the content is actually created, will take three minutes. And will be way better than any automated, autopilot, whatever other word you want to use, methodology. Beth says she doesn't have those two tabs, the visual and the HTML. Um, well, just a short term tip, I'll take a look. You can create whatever it is in, in another visual editor somewhere. Right, like maybe on one of your capture pages, just to use a scrap one. Use the box up top, actually, that's not being used, and then uh, just go to HTML view and copy and paste what you see in HTML view into that box, and it'll work. I have no idea why you're not seeing that though. Maybe because I'm an admin. I don't know. I'll take a look. Um, Ryan, I chatted you something. From um, Scott, Mike, just throwing out stuff. I've come across you guys are much better at everything. Uh, thank you, and we appreciate you sharing because a lot of times, you know, we only know what we know, and we only, you know, there's so much stuff out there that, you know, we get we. A lot of this stuff is is stuff that should be looked at. So, which one am I looking at, Josh? The very last oh, thing. Uh, I don't know. What was he asking? Um, uh, maybe go back to this. Oh, that's a screenshot. So he was saying, no. Oh, right, they're not getting as this a gives us a better point. idea of how many people make it to the landing page and actually give up the email. Yeah, right. so that man. We right, got, we a, we got an offer problem for sure. Yeah, we got to induce people to, to opt in. So we got first. Let's pick one, Scott, that we want to focus on and get get the numbers to more like between. It be, should at, at least, least be ten percent and really be twenty percent. Yeah, ten to thirty-five or so. Um, if we have the offer, so. 
It's sort of like starting backwards. If you start without the offer. It doesn't matter. Anything else doesn't matter if your offer isn't good. I mean, I, I think, do we have, I think I said that in the, when I did that video training on the, the four pieces of a winning squeeze page or whatever. And I think the last thing, the number four is you, you got to have an offer that's of interest and the public is telling you your, the offer isn't interesting enough or isn't presented interestingly no. enough. All right, well, Scott, after, you know, let, let's figure out one of these ideas to focus on, but it's, we're probably going to have to create something unique, either a video from you or a, a report on a, a specific property. Um, I know you've done this, so just pick, pick something. We need the awesome sauce. Um, and then getting more clicks from your ads, the video image trick like Kathy and I think Shannon got us an example of what he's doing. That'll get you more clicks, and if you can get more clicks and get better conversion, you know, problems solved. Yeah, we should, for the next week or two, Scott, we should just use the same exact offer, right, on all the ads. So you'll, you'll focus everything to that one page, and we can test it. Yep. Um, Wayne, as a follow-up to his headline idea, are you getting maximum exposure to your tech-savvy buyers or to the tech savvy buyers. Yeah, I mean, I think it's getting better. Uh, Ryan, any <laughs> news on being able to watch these on the iPad? I thought we fixed that, no? Here, I got a, here, here's a, here's a fun one. Um, girl, a woman on computer. Well, sometimes you don't get I was looking for a stock video or you can take a video of somebody like a female, you know, or a guy just typing on a computer and up top it says, she's looking for houses. Can she find yours? Ah, that's good. So the video, the actual moving of the video, it will engage them and you can use the same, you know, use the video preview, get, get a nice looking, uh, or weird, you know, get somebody interesting looking in the video. Anybody's interesting looking. I shouldn't say it like that. Um, uh, Sharon Wayne sent a Firefox plugin. Oh, also Chrome. That's good for text editing. Thank you. Shared that when editing oh, yeah. a page visual tab input is the same as HTML input and output is the same. I don't follow. Uh, if you, is this bad? No. So what's the what's the issue? If you if you put HTML code in the visual tab, you'll just see the HTML code. Yeah, but it won't it won't activate. Right when you when you look at it visually, it'll you'll just see the code. Don asks, "Have you used Realty Generator?" Nope. I'm, uh, I'm Real guessing Josh, we have Realty people Generator. That know. <laughs> Realty, I know, mentally. We just talked to the guy who created Realty Generator the other day, Josh. Oh. That's yeah, know it very well, but they they were bought by Market Leader, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, come list me leads. Those are the motivated seller leads that I mentioned. Um, they're a little bit of a different animal. I did them because I came into real estate as an investor, so I was used to working with motivated sellers and when you can work them from an angle of and and Don I think you do the your your home sold guarantee um, here's what I found personally a lot of the leads in my market because I'm in a more um, I'm in a market that isn't a ton of huge cookie cutter neighborhoods a lot of the motivated seller leads, that I got were for very unusual, weird houses that it was like extremely hard to sell at any price um, because they were just strange and weird, but they can ROI. I mean, I, I sold in uh, uh, 2009 and halfway through 2010, 
I, I sold a bunch of those. I listed and sold a bunch of those. So you might want to check them out. Come list me leads. I don't think they're cheap. I think it's 70 bucks a lead or something like that. But a seller lead is, is valuable. So is there a way to adjust the tone of your voice on a video? I'm sure there is. But that's pretty high level editing. You would just talk different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good eye stock video. Um, yeah, see, you know, you know how much that's going to run us though. That's going to run us about forty bucks. Do we, are we big budget enough? I didn't say to buy it. I said it's a nice video. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna. My wife probably won't let me do it, but maybe yours will. Can somebody female out there get us a picture of yourself typing on the computer? And you, if you want to be famous. I'll try and get Pam to do it. We'll see. All right. Um, I'll never get Michelle to do that stuff. I guess on Fiverr I can get somebody to do that. Yeah, <laughs> you could. There you go. Five bucks. All right. Have them have, them have something funny sitting next to them or something. Um, hey, I dropped some ads Shannon's using. Cool. To you, Ryan. You did? To my to my Gmail? No, no. Sorry. To, to the... Uh, yeah, to the. Yeah, I'm getting a goose oh, egg. Oh, you're getting because they all linked together. Sugar. Uh, all right, that's all right. Hold on. I'll get it. Cool. Yeah, that's the that's what I was talking about. See, right? and here, not... okay, so here, here, so many things he's doing right here. Odd numbers, sixty-one best deals. <laughs> that's awesome. Right? He also is saying under 300,000. So he's being very specific here. And you know what happens is I'm thinking about buying a house and my budget's 500,000, but, but darn, there's 61 hot deals under 300,000. I got to check those out. Um, you know, and he's not even doing the, he's not even doing the video ad trick here. So and here's Realty Generator. There's Realty Generator. The only thing I'd say, it goes over and it says 54. And right away, I'm like, <laughs> damn it, he lied to me. Um, but uh, this is, to get a click, to get a click, this is fantastic. Well, it probably was 61 when he did it. Right. They probably, they go off yeah, well, because it, the, this ad was posted on uh, Tuesday. The first. Yeah. Yeah. So, um but that's good. So Scott chimed back in and he said he's about to repost them all. Let's pick one. Can you go back to that screenshot that he had dropped? Um, it's over just a little bit. It's in between the two 404s, the Craigslist 404s. What do you have the best offer for? Like offering the foreclosure list, um, we know it works, but do you have your own sort of, or are we just going to offer the page with a list of foreclosures? And is anybody else doing that in your market? Like if you go on Craigslist, is, are there a lot of offers for that? Yeah, I mean, it looks to me like the top two at least are converting the best, even though the conversion is not good. Um, well, he might also be filling them out. And I'd be curious how he got so many clicks to the re retirement and vacation homes, because that's a lot of clicks if you can get the offer dialed in on that. Yeah. Um, how did you get clicks? Craigslist, same amount of ads? They sold some of the damn houses, Josh. LOL, as Shannon said. Yep, figured. Uh, let's see here. I can't click this link. <laughs> it's it's a picture. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not linked to anything, it. so you're not getting you're not getting uh, um, I'm clicking it over and over again. Yeah. All on Craigslist, posting in four cities. <clears throat> so you were posting well, in a cities. So they may have been clicks. Yeah, but let's look at this page. I think, you know, I remember seeing this page. What's it called? Chattanooga area vacation and second homes. Okay, enter your email to start getting updated lists of Chattanooga. Um, I would do more 
could you do a, a recording of yourself or of one of these listings and say and say get Scott's weekly list of the best Chattanooga area, you know, weekly Chattanooga. Uh, how about retire vi- vacation home of the week video? Yeah. So I know we're putting more work on you. On and that Scott, one. I would say here's what I here here's where I'd throw it back to you, Scott. Pick one of those three: the Best Buy one, the foreclosure one, or that. And we got to do something with the landing page to make the offer better. And then that's the one. Um, is this the one that got the traffic? No, but this is a good one. You know, what's the big deal? Should I buy a foreclosure? Watch this video because you can put this ad. I don't know why the bit might be embedded weird. And then, but the, the call to action is a little sign up for foreclosure video training series. It should be uh, get six more videos like this. And a current list of pre foreclosures, bank owned REO properties. Well, yeah. Scott, let, let's go with one. The, you know, we know exactly what's working. We don't have to reinvent. I mean, Kathy's basically doing almost exactly what I was doing where I had a lot of success. I mean, if we just do exactly that, you should. And do I'm well. pretty sure Shannon also, that example wasn't it, but Shannon, I believe, at least at one point, I think it's still doing that very similar process and it and, it works. And Greg does it, Green Bay Greg does it, you know, every he killed with it. Is killing. I know yeah, I don't know if he uh I'm just taking a look at his YouTube account because I know he opened his own company, so I know he's had his hands full with the trying to run one. Um Yeah, he even had to close that account, I think. YouTube. Uh Beth Beth says she got it. I Disabled the visual editor because it uh, bugs me otherwise, but it was screwing up the plugin, unfortunately. You can change everything over to the foreclosure list and see how that works. So let's do that, but then we also got to make that squeeze page better. Hey everyone, Green Bay Greg with Delaire Realty. I'm heading out to a listing that just got the price dropped out in Southwest Green Bay. I'll tell you what, this property has a ton of updates, central air, furnace. I don't know. When did I talk to Greg last, Josh, like about this, he, he had something crazy pending. In, in it that wasn't that long ago, I don't think, but who knows the, when you got three little kids. Like, yeah. He had, du- he had double digit pending properties. Yeah. And he was going crazy. He was going crazy videoing. Not not driving himself crazy. He was taking action, taking doing videos. Right, because they they just stay evergreen. If once you have the gallery. Yep. Ooh, why he? Uh, who knows what he's doing? He had a whole gallery. Uh, Mike asked, "Do we know Ross Hare and Alio?" I know Ross a little bit. I'm familiar a little bit with Alio. If you have a specific question, I might be able to answer. Other than that, I don't know what to tell you, but I, I do know Ross. I've spoken with Ross a couple of times. I think what he's doing there is pretty cool. I don't know how much traction it's gotten as of yet. Um, hey, Ryan, real a real quick hack. And I know this yeah. is in the blogger, but can you show how to um, loop, loop the YouTube video? And hopefully nobody hears the chopper that's flying over my house right now. Hopefully they're not coming for us. Uh, Mike, is there a software that you can speed up video? Do you mean when you're consuming a video? If so, yes. Enounce, uh, we try to mention that frequently. Enounce is great for speeding up or slowing down video that you're listening to and consuming. Uh, to speed it up or slow it down, like when you're rendering it or producing a video, I think there is, but I'm not sure. Do we use what would Seth Godin do WordPress plugin? Never heard of it. I love Seth Godin though. There was the question loop. Looping, yeah, looping. So it auto play, it plays over and over and over and over. And loop equals one should do it. Okay. Uh, 
The only thing is, I don't know if it works with the eye. If it does. Head. With the eye frame, it does. Yeah. It does, but you got to have the right eye frame. Hold on, go go back to what? Can you go back to what you were? Yeah, you have to do. Uh, where did you grab that embed from? So I always use the for some bed. reason it. You have to. Yeah, once you do that and then add it, then it works. But if the show suggested, it won't work because it changes oh. the. Good to know. Didn't know that. Uh, Shannon says, market leader is good stuff. It's one of the things I use. Coupled with your stuff, it's a great combo for me. Good stuff. Thanks for sharing. It's not cheap. I will say that. Uh, do you use a live chat box pop-up? We don't, but that's kind of one of the things we showed on Bobby Dadis's. Yeah. It's not. He's not doing it as a pop-up though, right? Um, no, he's just doing a static link. Yeah. We're using Snap Engage right now on uh, some of our sales pages. It's really nice. Yeah. Um, I, can, I guess I can bring that up and show the example. You can get a free trial there for 15 days. Snapengage.com. Uh, Don, going back to come list me leads, 75 bucks a lead, minimum five per month. You know, that's that's a pretty hefty investment. So. I can't, I can't make that call for you. I know you can get some motivated seller leads less than that. Does it mean they're better? They're better or as, I don't know. Um, Next time. Yeah, let's see if I, make sure it moves. Good, good choice there. Where's my loop? Yeah, why isn't it working? So, you might I'm, have to use the I old embed that, code. Yeah, that's what I mean. If you're having trouble with embed codes, with tweaking YouTube embeds, I'm just going to skip over and use the old embed. And whenever I use the old, old embed, you just got to put it in twice, but it's not that hard. Just go like this. And, and loop equals one and. And loop equals one and. So in both URLs, you know, after the and, it should work. Yeah, this goes back to the tone thing. This isn't really tone per se, but um, now I lost it, what in the heck. Uh, on Camtasia, you can actually like balance out the audio. If you're using Camtasia to do screen capture videos, you can do some audio editing. Um, or you could just talk different like Ryan gave an example of. Uh, so with Craigslist, you don't have to have an address. You can do just the best deals. We recommend that you post a property information, you post a property with basic property information and sandwich that information with calls to action. Can you do it where you not marking a specific property? Yes. And in some markets, you get away with it, no problem. In some markets, you get flagged and ghosted like immediately. So you can try it. Best practice would be if you can be posting a property, but you can post the same property over and over. You just have to vary the ad. You have to vary the variables of the ad. You have to vary the price, the headline, the area, and the information in the body. And if you, you can just play with those variables. And Ryan is our go-to techie, question mark. That must have been when Ryan wasn't figuring something out, which everybody loves. Uh, Scott was posting to Atlanta, Birmingham, Nashville, Chattanooga, trying to get second homeowners or retirees. My question would be, were you tricking them into clicking? Meaning, did they know they were clicking about information about vacation and second homes in Chattanooga? Or was it just that they were looking at, either way, that's a lot of clicks. I, I think you could, you could turn that into a winner but let's not try and make them all winners at once. Let's pick one and make that a winner, and then we can go on to a different one. Wow. <laughs> Here, um, uh, Mike's got more. Mike, man, you you got you're our regular, you're our resident uh, uh, research R and D. You're our resident R and D guy. Um, any thoughts on images at sites like these for enhancing and editing?
Picnic's an editor, right? No idea. Yeah, th there's a lot of web-based stuff. I know Picnic's a popular one to edit your photos. So a lot of the stuff you see me doing on pages, you can probably do with Picnic. And if you want to make things... Here's what I always... Um, here's what you have to think about with stuff like this. Is it going to make you more money or save you time? And if the answer is no to either, don't bother. Um, I'm not, I'm not saying this to be whatever. I've never done anything like this. I know Ryan does some, some more creative stuff than I do, but make a crappy video. <laughs> it'll get your results. Uh, and if you make an awesome video, it'll get you even more results. Uh, I also, I chatted, uh, Shannon said this is one of his best. And Mike, I wasn't picking on you. I was just saying in general, anytime you're looking at something like that, or someone recommends something to you or something like that, I always think, is this going to make us more money or save me time? And if it's no to either next. I can't get it to loop. <laughs> Just open up Shannon's ad and let's move on. I've done it so many times. I don't know why the loop's not working. It should be and loop equals one. Sorry. Uh, uh, hey, Mike, see. to your speeding up the tempo of a video, if you meant a video that you were producing, apparently Camtasia can do it. I've never done that. That's awesome. You can't do it with the free option, but apparently if you pay for the full on, it can. Super hot deals. Over 50% below current market value caught on video. That's beautiful. The only thing I would change is I'd put over 49% or over 51%. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm nitpicking, but it will probably get you a, more, a couple more clicks to your ad. Because 50%, it's just like, I don't know. It's, like a, it's too round of a number. And all he did was screen, screenshot the whole squeeze page. Yep. <laughs> Let's see the squeeze page. All right. Scott, if you can do something, let's 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 do something like this. We know you can get the foreclosure clicks. Let's do something like this. Focus on that. Get that working, and then we can try the vacation or second homes or a second offer of some kind. But let's get that working using something like what Shannon's doing. So this is converting Shannon. This exact like you took a picture of a house and just talked about it in a screenshot, and then offered the list that. And had that ad. This is awesome. Mike was asking if he could speed up videos that he renders. I'm sorry, I'm jumping all over with these questions. It, I, it's hard for me to to scroll up and down. He's rendering rendering the video because he's working on running through properties in less than a minute. I love it. <laughs> it wasn't that you said that right? Yeah. But somebody, uh, I want to see somebody actually doing it. That would be awesome. You know how I would do that? I would hack that up. I would get announce. Then I would do the regular speed video. Then I would play it in Enounce, but then screencast my playing it in Enounce. That's a really hacked up way to do it, but that should work, right, Josh? It should work. I'd be a little, I don't know if the screen, it should work, but you might, I don't know. It might be a little buggy, but who knows? Go on Fiverr and ask if somebody could speed up the play of a video for you. I bet somebody responds. I guarantee, yeah, I can almost guarantee. Uh, what did Ryan say? Snap engage? You got it exactly. Mm -hmm. Snap engage. I don't know how much that is, though, once you're... Uh... Mike, you, no need to be quiet now. It's great. You bring a ton. Uh, and again, I wasn't picking on you. I was just... Um, well, that's funny. We, that... yeah, well, we, we do this as much as any of our people do this. We, end, we, we waste time on stuff that doesn't make us more money or save us any time. And in business, that's, I, personally, I think that's the way you have to think. Will this help me make more money? Will this save me time? And if the answer is no, 
next. Um, and so the, will this help me make more money? Could Picnic help you make more money if you were doing luxury homes and you made your pictures more interesting and engaging? Maybe. I'm not saying that it that I'm not saying that the answer is universal to all. I'm just saying when you when individually when you look at this kind of stuff, you should think, will it make me more money? Will it save me time? And if the answer is no to both, next. Molly, you gotta go. You guys are the best. Hope to be here tomorrow. Hope hope you'll be here too. Fridays, uh, we seem to have even more fun. Oh, Dennis says Windows Movie Maker gives you the option to set the speed of the video as well. And I think Movie Maker comes on most Windows machines, or at least it used to. Um, oh, and there you go. Uh, Shannon, yes, I do it every Friday. I'd update my screenshot with that week's best of best foreclosures, and it's pulling about 15 leads a week off the one ad. Hot dog. There you go. Beautiful. Did you, Josh, can you drop that particular Craigslist ad to everybody? Jen's okay with it. Now he's going to get a bunch of leads that are... Uh, <laughs> that are our folks. <laughs> that are everybody else. Don't fill out his form. It's funny because I, I get I get Shannon's LK and Dream Home foreclosure list of the week. So, um, oh, I sent that to you. Whoops. I sent that to everybody. And Dennis says, thank you, Mike, for the stuff. If Mike's still here, good stuff. All right, I think that's everybody. Wow, this was a marathon. Love it. Love it, love it. Anybody have anything else? Uh, Mike says movie, Windows Movie Maker isn't clean when you speed it up. That I can definitely believe. Um, if you're dedicated to doing video, and I hope you should be, you might want Camtasia. It's an investment, but it's good. What is for tomorrow? We don't have a top. Fridays, there aren't any topics. Fridays, we fly by the seat of our pants. So, <laughs> Dennis... <laughs> Dennis says the solution for Mike is just run like hell. <laughs> so, um, yeah. <laughs> and you right. could start with an annotation that says, hey, I know you don't have a lot of time, and just start running. <laughs> in an annotation. Oh, Let me show you this, man. Let me show you this house real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, everybody's busy as hell. This is, this, is, uh, this is real estate fast food style. Boom. Just go as fast as you can. That's good stuff. Fast forwarding in videos. Um, yeah, Mike, I would check out Camtasia. <clears throat> Again, I, I always, you know, it's a, you know, it's an investment. It's 300 bucks. It's not cheap, but if you're going to do them, um, you might want to check it out. Um, what if you, what happens if you try to do a YouTube video? Mobile hotspot One second. Blazing fast speeds on America's largest 4G network. I was going to try to like zoom it, like pull the scroller and zoom it. I don't know what you, you mean. Like, I would record with Jing. Like, I'm pulling up Jing right now. And you'd move it faster. Yeah. Uh, that's I, I think the enounce thing could work. The enounce thing with Screener, where you record well, it, you record it, and then play it using enounce to speed it up, could work. I just don't know. I've never tried it. Josh, can you can you try it today? Or maybe I'll buy enounce finally. But try yeah, it. Cause if yeah, it does, absolutely. That's probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. That's probably the quickest way. The, the quickest down and dirty way to do it. And and, and enounce is, I don't know, 37 bucks or something like that. Plus it'll save you a lot of time. It's yeah, plus time. you should use it. I, 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 it drives me crazy to consume video now without it. Like, I feel like I'm wasting time if I don't have that while I'm consuming video because almost anything you consume, hey, they... you can, you can consume it at one and a half or two times the speed and still retain everything that's going by. Can you put it on, how many computers can you put it on? I think you can use the same, like you get a serial number, I think you can use it on multiple. I'm pretty sure I have it on both my Macs from the same serial number. Well look, they have a free one now, Josh, for seven days, so you can get a sense for how it works. Oh yeah, they always had a free trial, yep. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. You'd know that if you use it. Exactly. I'm just kidding. I'm not, but I am. 
All right. Good session. Holy smokes, that was good. good. Thanks, everybody. Yep, we'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same place. The organizer has ended the session.